Hello and welcome to this tutorial for RT Voice. So first of all, what are we talking about? Well, RT Voice is the one and only complete text-to-speech solution for Unity. That means you can instantly convert text-to-speech during runtime using multiple voices at once and an unlimited amount of synchronized speakers for a single audio source. Also, you can fine-tune the voices using speed, pitch, volume, as well as SSML and EmotionML to make them sound as you like. There is also a sequence and dialogue system integrated, and the asset works on all platforms and is compatible with AR and uh, VR. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to basically implement and play around with RT Voice. Okay, let's go. So after importing RT Voice into your project, you can simply right-click in the hierarchy and add the prefab to your scene from there. Let's take a look at the prefab. You see Mary TTS here. Um, operating systems may or may not have an integrated text-to-speech system. Therefore, they have own voices that aren't available on other systems. So Mary TTS is an online service containing independent voices for cross-platform usage. We won't need that uh, for our tutorial here. What we're going to need is the voices displayed here. That's uh, the installed voices. Uh, Microsoft default voices are additionally downloaded. Um, yeah, let's go on to implementation. We're going to need a canvas for two uh, UI elements, an input field as well as a button. Okay. Let's grab the input field and increase its size. Like this and uh, make it multi line. Oops. Okay, now uh, an empty game object to keep things organized. Let's call it scene. And of course, a script. I'm going to call it speak example. Open it. Okay, so what we're going to use is uh, Unity's UI as well as our namespace crosstest.rt voice. Okay, um, we won't need a start or update method, so we can drop these for now. And what we're going to need is uh, two references one reference for the input field. Let's call it text, as well as one reference for uh, our voice name, for the voice to use. And, of course, a public method to use with the button. Call it speak. Okay. Then we just say speaker dot speak text text, which references to our input field null because we don't need a audio source and uh, our voice name contained in the string okay let's save this whatever let's uh, drag it to our scene object. Now we're gonna put in the input field here and we'll need a voice name. As mentioned before you can grab a voice from here using the name. We'll take David for now. Copy it and paste it in here. And uh, oops Give the button um, a function. Okay, basically it. So let's say hello. Hello. Seems to work. 
Well, like mentioned in the introduction, you can use SSML and EmotionML to manipulate your voices. So let's do a short example. Go to documentation, see an SSML over here, double click it. Here you can see various examples on how it works. So I have prepared a little thingy for that. Um, we need to increase input fields size for that and uh, let's go okay, paste it here see what I'm trying to do is to change the voice inside the text then make it talk slowly um, modify the pitch and uh, emphasize uh, a word okay let's try it let us talk very slowly now we're talking highly pitched. Let us emphasize that we are cross tails. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Okay, if you need any more information or help, just go to Tools, Configuration, and you see the Help window. There are linked buttons for the manual and API. Uh, or you can always uh, ask us for help. That's no problem. So, I am Fasgar at Crosstails LLC. Thanks for watching and see you next time.